On today's episode of Watch Share Go, I've got a little bit of a surprise for you guys. I just got a call that something you've wanted to see for a long time has on the way here. So, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> We're gonna flip this thing. Did you just drift to a stop? Sound like a full drift. <laughs> what is going on guys? I am Watch Jerigo and I'm here with Tyler who just picked this thing up. I saw it on Facebook yesterday for 300 bucks and it said it had a bad water pump and I was like, hmm, I don't know. And he was like, oh yes you do. This is happening. Oh yes so, you do. Thanks for picking that up for me. There's the, <laughs> the three hondo. And uh, let's let's investigate this car. Got the title from the guy. Uh -huh. Wow, uh, it looks rough in the pictures, but it is rough, isn't it? A little dirty. So. No factory AC, no passenger mirror, no door handles. What is, what's this? Uh, so it doesn't smell. That's good. Um, tires are okay. It does smell a little like old yeah. flip car. There's a, there's a certain smell for flip cars and this does oh, have it. It smells like a flip car. Yeah, what are these tires? Uh, 13, I think. 155, 80, 12. 12, got some 12s. <laughs> <laughs> they look like donuts. Ruler tires. They are donuts. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, drum brakes in the back, disc brakes in the front. Somehow. At least parts should be cheap. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's one of everyone's life goals to own all the Geos. I had a tracker. Here's a Metro, a Metro XFI. I didn't, that wasn't in the ad. I'm not even sure what the XFI is. I don't just, know. The... Just for you, the, uh, the trunk struts are blown. <laughs> oh, drop it. No worries. Yes. Uh, it's got defrost, which is pretty crazy. I mean, that's kind of an option. That's in... probably a check mark. Multifunction switch is dead. Okay. Uh, so they rigged it up with uh, toggle switches. Did they tell you all this or did you just discover it? He showed it? me. Okay. And uh, I, I like how remember. they regrounded the engine with welding cable. Yeah. It, it's probably a better ground than it ever had, so yeah, there's nothing wrong uh... with that. Look at the body ground. <laughs> the uh, battery is bigger than the engine. It is. Uh, I don't think it'll have any trouble cranking it over. It's got nice battery hold downs. Oh yeah. Professionally done. Gonna go anywhere. Yep. Boom. So, 1993, 300 bucks. I think it's a great deal because it's such a cool car. And like I was saying, I think it's everyone's dream to own all the Geos. So, now I've had two and I need a Storm and a Prism, right? I think that's it. Ooh, I think they made a turbo uh, prism. A turbo storm. A turbo storm. storm, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, the turbo storm is like a grail car because yeah. they're rare and worth a lot of money now. Yeah, well, but, uh, this is not worth a lot of money. We could probably pick this thing. I think we could, should we try it? Sure. One, two. Oh! <laughs> uh, that didn't work. The fenders almost came off. Did the rust get worse? It fell out. Oh. <laughs> hey, it has mud flaps. It does have mud flaps. That's where the rust came from. Yeah. To get started here, we're going to need to visit the CRC shelf. As you saw, that car was pretty dirty. So, pull. I don't know. One can will probably get this thing done. Yo, dog, I heard you like Geo, so I put a Geo inside your Geo so you could Geo while you Geo. That's awesome. <laughs> I didn't notice this until we have. That is that is fantastic. What do you think these do? That's uh, that's hydraulics, man. So oh, yeah. It was doing it while you were. There we go. Yeah, yep. That's true. <laughs> and the head unit face is missing. Oh. And and a knife. Well, that's not a knife. Wow, this is uh, more broken inside than it is outside. That's for sure. I don't know. Let's drive this thing. Let's see if it runs at all. I haven't driven it yet. It's just like all it's geos. just like the other tracker there. Okay, so. That, that <laughs> appears to be first. I think we're in the first general vicinity. Oh, it says shift up. We're going 10 mile an hour. You gotta shift up. Oh my. The shift. Where's, kinda, where's our shift light? Right there. Under the speedo has that green light that says shift up. <laughs> That's not that bad. You can drive this. All right, off to the car wash. Let's see. How's the steering on this bad boy? Oh, responsive. Nice. Rear defrost lights up. Rear defrost is the main positive to this car. I mean, it has it. That's one. And two, it seems like it works. The light came on. That's handy. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to keep it in second and hope. Here's an exhaust leak. Tick, 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 tick. It's also missing the uh, door handle on the passenger side. Both, both door handles are yeah, missing. That's, that's a feature I'd like to have. 
but I suppose uh, we can deal with that. I guess I'm not even sure how you get out over here. You pull on this rag. Well, I know how I'm getting out. You're gonna get it. You're gonna open the door. Yeah, flying. of course. And I'm gonna get out like a boss. <laughs> full pull. Well, wait for it. Whoa! <laughs> That's impressive, dude. Uh, we got to 35 mile an hour after third gear. We're, we're getting into Audi R8 territory. Here. Oh man, I, I don't think I've ever seen a car so slow that feels like it's really fast. I was like, man, we must be going 50 and we're going 35. It's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. What do you think about that? She sounds like a moss. She does. I think it's uh, it's got at least five Briggs and Stratton lawnmowers worth of horsepower. It's really easy to drive, honestly. Even with a bad shift you're wishing, I can't complain. Like, very easy to drive this car. First time I've ever driven one. All right, let's wash this thing. <laughs> Here, I'll pull up on this side. Oh, it, it is completely out of the track, I see. Oh, uh, okay. And it's not far from going in. So yeah, now, shake and bake, and I helped. There you go. We fixed it. All right, don't roll the windows down. New roll. Nice. All right, we got a little heat in this engine, so it should be fast acting. Oh, look at that. The dirt's just falling off. start that's used to start this thing did not want to start after the uh, car wash we got it going uh, cleaned all the water out of the plug wires and plug uh, wells and everything start back up we made it we made it to the mecca of geo Thank you, Ken, sir. Yeah, you're welcome, sir. I guess I could have climbed through your side like you did. You could have. Okay, all of our parts should be here. We called a little bit ago and ordered a timing belt and a water pump, and I don't even think we need to do a timing belt at this point. Probably not. Because we thought it was a timing driven water pump. Oh, nice. 651150. Oh. There we go. Got all of our parts, water pump, plugs, and uh, some gasket maker for the water pump gasket. Let's get out of here. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks, sir. Yep. You got the key, right? Got the key. Got the key. And we are back in Josh's shop. It's time to get the air filter off this thing and see how fast we can change a water pump on a, what year? 90 something Geo Metro. Also, we just found out the XFI means it's the hypermiling version. It has a different cam profile. It makes less power. It's supposed to get like 53 miles per gallon. Uh, and it has all the weight reduction from the factory, which is why it has no options and no air conditioning and all that stuff. The XFI is actually special. Who knew? Well, let's get in here and pop off an air cleaner. Not bad, not bad. I like this. This is a nice custom touch somebody did. Yeah. <laughs> it actually looks cool. Can't be upset about that. It needs to be chrome. Oh, we got a little, little water around the sealer right there. Okay. Can't be helped. That looks like fuel or something. Oh, that might be water. There's a chance. That's a... Uh... That's oil. Oh, cool. From uh, blow by from this old piece of junk. Well, engine. I mean, the PCV is right here, so. I guess it does need a PCV, huh? Yep, yeah, I bet it needs a PCV valve. We should go get one of those. And now we can see the water pump. It's right here. Very easy to get to. What we do need to do is get the alternator uh, loose. This bolt here on the alternator is the tensioner. We'll loosen that up, pop that bolt off, and then uh, get the belt off, try to get the water pump off. Those look like tens. I mean, this should be easy. It yeah. looks like a super easy job. Interesting thing, while we were at the car wash, I had Gabe try to start this and noticed fire was coming around the center plug. So I'm gonna guess the center plug has no gasket, which is the main reason we bought plugs. So let's take a look here. Oh, there's not even like an anode on it. That is <laughs> impressive. Yeah, this thing was working. This engine's running. <laughs> on two cylinders. Okay, it's pretty hot. These are these were Bosch Platinums. <laughs> it blew apart oh the Oh my floor. gosh. That <laughs> oh, is crazy. This dude. is hilarious. So somebody installed these plugs. That one's broken half. 
What on earth? There's a good chance this might not go back together easily. That is insane. Uh, that one's bent on the end and broken in half. See. Look at the anode or whatever is all the way back in there. Uh, okay, that, luckily that one's okay. We're gonna need to vacuum out the uh, spark plug wells and try to do a little cleaning. Spray some brake cleaner in there maybe. This one actually looks like it's running okay. It's probably the one running the engine. Super hot, wow. Yeah, that one. I know it's just about gone. Yeah, it's gone too. It is, it's it gone. sure is. But like, it seems like the combustion's clean. Like that one looks like a pretty reasonable plug compared to the others. All right, let's put some new ones in. I bet it fixes the that, whole car. That just killed me. That's hilarious, man. Wow. So to give you an idea of what's missing here, <laughs> we have the anode of the new plug right there. You can see it's nice and clean and bright and everything and it's actually present. And on this one, Nothing well, important. you know, it's, yeah, we'll, we'll just say that's a sizable gap. New plugs are in. We're gonna do a quick test to see if it runs better. I bet it runs better already. Probably, probably starts better. Clutch in. I love how I can see the clutch on a big lever. <laughs> oh, it seems cleaner already. I like it. I don't understand. It was tuned up in 96. <laughs> Josh just showed up and he was like, oh, all right. Got you the sauce. We're gonna pull that valve cover and do the valve cover gasket. Guess how much? $200. $300, but you were close. <laughs> I didn't want to go over. Price right. right rule. That's true, that is true. One dollar. Otherwise you don't win the car. And when we're done, we're just gonna leave it in your shop and walk away. <laughs> That's awesome. What'd you find? Ta-da! Is it a, a PCV? Is, yeah. For oh, me. it's foaming? What is going on? That's cool. I'll get a PCV valve. The cam itself, like there's no lobe wear. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it does look good. <laughs> it's so cool. Huh, this thing's cute. I mean, if you need a first engine to work on, go buy one of these cars. Oh I'll, yeah. It's like the easiest thing in the world. Uh, now, uh, that screw is completely stripped out holding down the PCV valve. I'm going to have to get vice grips on there and break it loose. Gabe started pulling the water pump and he's almost done there. One more bolt. Yep. Looking pretty good. So I was like, look at all this trash. The grounds to the body and the actual supply wire to the chassis. It was just all hideous. So I cut out all the trash, cleaned it all up, cleaned up all the cable in there. And now this needs to move down to the transmission where it's effective. Uh, there was smoke coming out of it while it was cranking because they gr literally grounded the distributor to the battery. Let's move that down to the transmission. That bolt right there looks like a great place for a engine ground and probably start better after that too. Nice. Water pump removed. Oh, yep. it looks like the gasket may have been toast, huh? Little, little issues in there. How's shaft play? None. Ah, it's perfect. Who knows, man? We'll do a pump. And then we're gonna find out it's the coolant crossover tube instead of the pump. <laughs> I don't see RTV on it or anything really, but we've got the, uh, the special sealant that's just for that too, mm -hmm. so that'll help. Allegedly. Actually, I, like, I appreciate the You might have to slide forward a little bit, right? Yeah, maybe? For some reason it wants to. Yeah, like off center a little bit. Come on, come on keepers. As you can tell, this is just the upgraded head for the Geo. What are you doing with the hammer over there? You know the sketchy stuff on the camera? <laughs> no, no, don't do that. <laughs> that hammer is custom built just for doing the valve springs on the heads. No, I think it's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, here's our new water pump, and I just put all the RTV on it. This is the special RTV just for water pumps. Gabe's gonna throw it in there. I'm sure it feels a little bit stiffer. The other one had a little, like, rust on it and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely stiffer, but there's no shaft plate or anything like that. Cool. We're gonna stop saying all those words now. I can't take you guys. <laughs> hey, these heads are looking pretty here. Those are an upcoming episode sneak peek. Uh, here's our new PCV valve, PCV 2247. It's funny, the spark plugs are just called 63, and this one's just called PCV 2247. So, we got an O-ring and a PCV. O-ring sets right inside there on this end of it. That side goes down, just like this. It's on. There's a little bracket that retains it. Water pump. Check. Heck yeah, look at that. 
That is all brand new -y. Okay, I guess it's time to put some coolant in this and see if it leaks. Hopefully the leaks have been resolved. Going for the, oh no, I was way off. You were. Start my Still way off. Sorry. Oh, there you go, you finally made it. That was my fault, I was off. Here are our new rubber washers to make sure it doesn't leak around the uh, valve cover bolts. I'm not even sure we can get these started with how high the new ones are here. Oh, I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> but you have to like get some real weight on these to uh, use a socket and seal it. Yeah, I figured we'd put the impact on one and then run them down. Baby torque. You were Dude, thinking it too. <laughs> Somebody was saying it home. Okay. For those of you following at home, clap your hands and say, I do believe in JR. I do, I do, I do. Let's not do any uh, <laughs> like door of the Explorer, whatever's going on right now. <laughs> I guess we're good to start it, huh? Yeah. She's ready to go, and I can start loading it up with coolant, and we can go do some testing. I hope you're planning on taking a draggy with you. I was actually like, uh, I'm gonna go get the draggy, and let's get a 20 second quarter mile time out of this. That's, that was my thought. It might start better. I'm gonna be impressed. I'm sure it will, actually. She seems like she runs good. That's a tune up. We got it home. Looks like it's running pretty well. Time to go clean it up. Thanks, Gabe. No worries, bro. Water pump seems like it works great. Water temp came up. Did better. So now we need to know how many horsepower this thing makes. 12. Sounds accurate. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's try to get some numbers behind that. Well, the tires on this monster were already aired down to 20 PSI, probably from some hero that drove this before out drag racing it, I'd assume. So I, I went ahead and aired them back up to 35. Probably not ideal for performance, but we've got the draggy. Let's go get some zero to 60 times on this bad boy. Maybe even a quarter mile. I bet a quarter mile in this takes a half mile. She's not exactly what I would call polite out on the highway. It's uh, shaking around pretty bad here. Still, for 300 bucks and uh, maybe 50 in parts, this car could last forever. Minimal maintenance. These times were all good, they all verified. Zero to 30, five seconds. Zero to 60, 17 seconds. And what's hilarious is only three seconds later went through the quarter mile. Quarter mile was 20.56 seconds at 65.06 miles an hour. <laughs> this car is hilarious. Those were full throttle pulls and shifting it like a boss. There's no tack, so you're just kind of guessing when it's about to wrap out. Uh, I kind of felt the rev limiter out earlier on the first like test and I mean, I, I knew where the rev limiter was and I missed it by that much each time, I think. It was, it was like a perfect run. So I'm pretty happy with those numbers because it's funny. Maybe if we go back out tonight and pull the air filter and make another quarter mile pass, we might be able to drop a second off that time. Uh, who knows? I mean, obviously it's not fast, but there might be a little bit more in it. I mean, this could be a 19 second car. Think about it, guys. That's, that's blazing. Oh yeah, the little Geo that could. This was a blast. question. Does it leak? Probably. I did all the glass before I left the house and that's why it's beating up really well. Uh, it's all been rain -exed and cleaned inside and out. The headlight switches in here are amazing too. Check them out. Headlights on, high beams on. Oh, it leaks. <laughs> It leaks a lot. Well, that is not a bad looking little fuel efficient car and it's kind of fun to drive too. So that is it for today, guys. Doing the old school throwback with a little one day flip action. Uh, that car is turned around and ready to leave. Uh, Tyler hit me up earlier and was like, do you want that car? And I was like, mm, no. So he wants, a, he wants to come buy it now. <laughs> I was like, all right, so I guess that's probably going to become his. If not, I'll list it up for sale and it should sell super fast. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchjrgo.com where you can get cool shirts like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I'll talk to you 
next time. I actually really enjoy driving this thing. It could use some shifter bushings and some interior cleaning. I'll, I'll probably do the interior right now. I don't know when to stop. I also found out it's just the door adjustment. If I pull on them while the car wash is running, there's no leaks at all. So I was sitting there holding them together like this, like I was the Hulk holding two buildings together. Uh, yeah, a little bit of adjustment and those should seal right up.